is in the New Zealand story. Uh, but a request by Trust Eft. And this game is about these Kiwis that get attacked by a giant blue seal for some reason. That's the story of New Zealand. And he puts them in a bag and one of them gets away and he's wearing shoes. Ready? Question mark. Yes, I am. Okay, so... Alright, I have an ar a bow and arrow. Which is uh, common equipment for Kiwi. Now, oh dear, that looks... Yeah. I haven't played this before, but um, I have seen it played many years ago. Um, and a uh, little known... Oh look, help me. Graffiti. Little known fact about Kiwis. Uh, they, they grow on bushes. Oh dear, I died. And what is commonly known as the kiwi fruit is actually the egg of the kiwi. Uh, and then the adult uh, ki kiwi will then um, turn into a bush and plant itself in the ground. And this is all bollocks. And this is not true. Um, yeah. Look, I rescued a, a, a friend kiwi thing. Auckland. Yeah. So, in truth, I know very little about New Zealand. Um, Although it is the, uh, uh, oh god, I got bombs. That's wicked. Yeah, deadly, flightless birds armed with explosives. <laughs> oh bloody hell! Oh wow, I've got a, a a flying platform for some reason. That's cool. And this magical portals that these things keep coming out of. Ooh, I like this game. Um. Whoa. What's that? Oh no! Spikes! <laughs> yeah, as I was trying to say, um... Ooh! This is where, uh, New Zealand is where uh, the Matt and Sarah from the Games of My Girlfriend channel come from. So, oh, I just destroyed my balloon. Um, yeah, they have a great channel. And they're from New Zealand, so that's, that's, uh, that's that. Um, oh, hurry up, alright, fine. Another thing I know about New Zealand is that it's, uh, hey, it's the home of the creature known as the kakapo, which, uh, like many birds, uh, like many flightless birds on New Zealand, is, uh, oh, bloody hell, um, yeah, got it, oh god, there's a lot of them, get away, Jesus, <laughs> yeah, wow, this game's hard. Okay, I'm going to try again. Trying to suck so much. Uh, yeah, the Kakapo is a large green flightless bird, like many flightless birds on uh, in New Zealand. Um, oh god. And it's endangered, it's only like a few hundred of them left or something. Uh, because of, you know, the usual reasons of humans fucking up their environment and stuff, and hunting them and... The trouble is they are so docile and you and ineffective creatures because uh, birds that flew over to New Zealand uh, found no natural predators and then evolved, you know, to be oh god, useless, like kind of like me. Um, you know, they had no reason to fly anymore, so, and it's very energy intensive, so they sort of lost the ability. And god damn, I suck. <laughs> Anyway, I learned about this this bird on uh, from a book by Douglas Adams called Last Chance to See, um, which is where he visits various parts of the world and finds creatures that uh, that were that are endangered uh, to have the last chance to see them. And uh, it was followed years later by a documentary by Stephen Fry that after Douglas Adams' death, where he went with this same uh, scientist, Mark Carwardine, to uh, to basically revisit the places and see how the animals were getting on after all this time. And one of the animals they revisited was the kakapo. Um, and this bird basically uh, is became sexually attracted to Mark Carwardine's head and basically got up and tried to fuck him in the head. Literally. <laughs> and there's a clip of this on YouTube. I'll link to it. It's really funny. Oh, God. And, uh... Yeah, so what they did 
was they tried to invent this basically this head device uh, where they attach they, they attach this thing to somebody's head uh, which is basically a Kakapo semen collecting machine um, and oh god but you know so, so that hopefully when they try to fuck the researchers in the head they would uh, be able to collect the precious bird spunk and uh, propagate the species oh god Get up there, get up there, get up there, get away, get away! And, uh, but it didn't work because the Kakapos, they, they, they only ride bareback. So, that was unfortunate. Unfortunate, uh, for Mark Carwardian as well. He got rather, um, rather injured by the whole process. Oh, tea. And, uh, not seriously injured, but, you know. Oh, scuba! Scuba Kiwi! <laughs> And oh no, I'm dead again. This is a quite a cool game. I'll give it one more quick go. So yeah, that's the story of the Kakapo. I highly recommend uh, if you like Douglas Adams, get the audiobook because he reads it himself. And the audiobooks are always better when they're read by the author, especially if the author is uh, Douglas Adams, of course. It's extremely funny, even in a book uh, about a serious subject like endangered species. And, yeah. So, talking about the game again, this game is just a nice, simple arcade conversion bit of fun. It's a nice, uh, nice music, nice graphics, nice animation, and various weapons and, and, and vehicles, even. Oh! Yeah, and I like it. Oh, and I've destroyed my balloon. Oh, I like it, but I suck at it. Um, I've been... Uh, get off, get off, get off. Damn it. Okay, <laughs> I've died so many times. I think this is a record for how quickly I die. Um, yeah. I'm kind of running out of requests that are games that I can do quickly. Like a lot of them are games that I'm going to have to, for them to be worth doing, I'm going to be doing like multi-part videos and a lot of my recent videos have been rather long, like eight or ten parts or something. So um, yeah, so th that's why I've been kind of, if it seems like I'm being preferential with my selection of games requested, it's mostly because um, can I get down there? No. Oh yeah, there. It's mostly because I, you know, I, it takes a lot more time to do a game that takes a lot more time, obviously. And, uh, yeah. So if anyone can suggest any more simple games, I can crank out more quickly into shorter videos, because I know not everyone has time to watch a 19-part video or something, or 42 parts or something. So a game like this I can do in a single video. Uh, if anyone can suggest one, that'd be cool. Um, it'll be a while before I get the 512s and get another request video, so feel free to oh, make a a request anywhere. Just put it on my channel page or anywhere. Or I've got a post on the English Amiga board. You can contact me through there or... Yeah. Anywhere you like, really. So that's New Zealand Story. Nice bit of simple platforming fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time.